Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on box plots. This is the second video on this topic and we're just going to be looking at some exam style example questions. Uh, so the first one then, construct a box plot for the following set of numbers. 3, 5, 8, 8, 9, 11, 12, 12, 13, 13 and 16. Okay, well we'll start with the lowest and the highest values which form the edges of the box plot. Uh, so the lowest is 3 and the largest is 16. Uh, so we can mark the edges of the box plot at 3 and 16. Now we'll move on to calculate the median. Uh, so you get the median from finding n plus 1 over 2, uh, where n is the number of items in the data set. So in this case there are 11 numbers, uh, so n plus 1 over 2 is 12 divided by 2, which is 6. So the median is the sixth value in our data set. Uh, now these are already in order, which is nice, so we just have to count 6 along. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Uh, so 11 is the sixth value, so that's the median. So let's mark that on the box plot. So now we're going to move on to calculate the quartile, so that's the upper and lower quartile. Now we'll start with the lower quartile. So the lower quartile is the value that's a quarter of the way along the data set. Uh, so whereas to calculate the median we found n plus 1 over 2, uh, this time we'll find n plus 1 over 4. So in this case, uh, it becomes 12 divided by 4, so that's 3. So uh, the lower quartile is the third value uh, in the data set. So if we go along three values, we get 3, 5, 8. That's the third one. So the lower quartile is 8. And then we do a similar thing to find the upper quartile. Uh, but this time, uh, we want the value that's three quarters of the way into the data set. Uh, so rather than doing n plus 1 over 4, we do 3 times n plus 1 over 4, which is 3 times 12 over 4. Uh, so that is 3 times 3, which is 9. So it's the ninth value now that we're interested in. Uh, so if we count 9 along, we get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So the ninth value is 13. So all that's left now is to connect up the box plot uh, to form a box and whisker plot. So there's the box and the whiskers are the two upper and lower values. So if you're feeling confident on this topic, you can have a go at our box plots online exam. Uh, you can test your skills there uh, and it's available through our revision platform. Now, if you take the test, you'll find loads of different questions to have a go at, all of which you'll receive instant feedback for. Uh, so this is a really good way of finding out where your strengths and weaknesses are and how you can quickly improve. So if you're interested, then click the link below to take the exam.